We're going to start our unit on adding and subtracting fractions through looking at divisibility. Uh, your learning intentions for this lesson, I can determine if a number can be evenly divided by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10. I can show why a number cannot be divided by 0. And I can use divisibility rules to find common factors of two numbers in order to write a fraction in lowest terms. We're going to start with the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. I want you to copy the chart that is um, on this slide into your notebooks. I want you to color each number that is divisible by 2 yellow. I want you to circle each number that is divisible by 5 and put an X through each number that is divisible by 10, meaning that it can be divided by 2, 5, or 10, depending on which one you're doing. Pause the video and then um, do that and then come back. What you should have when you have created your divisibility rules is um, well, what's on the screen right now. Um, the yellow numbers are the ones that are divisible by 2. Look at the last digit of each yellow number. Are these digits odd or even? Look at the circled numbers, the ones that are circled in purple. Um, those ones are divisible by 5. Look at the last digit of these numbers. What do you notice? And finally, the numbers that have been crossed out in green are divisible by 10. Look at the last digit of these numbers. What do you notice? Finally, look at the numbers that are divisible by 10 again. Uh, what other numbers are they divisible by? Looking at this information, in your notebook, I want you to create a divisibility rule for 2. How do you know whether a number is divisible by 2 or not? Do the same thing for 5. How do you know whether a number is divisible by 5 or not? And finally, for 10. How do you know whether a number is divisible by 10? I want you to pause the video and record these divisibility rules that you are creating in your notebook. Now we're going to look at the divisibility rules for 4 and 8. For this one, you don't need to copy all of the numbers out into your book. What I would like you to do is put um, in numerical order the numbers that are divisible by 4 and maybe color those in yellow or put them in a different color and then circle the numbers that are divisible by 8. Take a moment, pause the video, and do that. So up on the screen now you can see the ones that are um, boxed in yellow are divisible by 4. The ones that have been circled in green are divisible by 8. Um, and I want you to look at the yellow numbers. Uh, look at the last two digits of 1040. Um, what happens when you divide that number by 2? Is the quotient odd or even? If it's even, divide it by 2 again. Is the quotient a whole number or a decimal number? So if we take, for example, 10,040, and we just take the last two digits, 40, and we divide that by 2, we get 20. 20 is an even number, so we can divide it by 2 again, and we get 10. Let's try this with a number, another number, um, 10,068. So we can take 68 and divide it by 2 and get 34, which we can also divide by 2 evenly and get 17. So when we look at this, um, for a number that is divisible by 4, we notice that we can divide it by 2 twice. Likewise, if we're looking at the numbers that are divisible by 8, so let's take the last four digits of 1048. We can take 48 and divide it by 2, and we will get 24, which we can then divide by 2 again and get 12, and we can divide that by 2 a third time and get 6. And yes, we can continue on, but that's not going to be true for all of them. Just like in here, we could have divided 10, by 2 again, but we can't divide 17 by 2 again and get a, f a whole number. When we look at 1072, again we're looking at the last two digits, 
72 can be divided by 2, which will give us 36. That can be divided by 2, which will give us 18, which can be divided by 2, and that will give us 9. So one of the things we can notice about um, numbers that are divisible by 8 is that we can divide them by 2 three times. Numbers that are divisible by 4, we can divide by 2 twice. There is another way to look at the divisibility um, for 4 and for 8. And that is again to look at the last two digits. If you look at the last two digits of 1056, the last two digits are 56. Is 56 divisible by 4 and does that give us an equal number? So we're looking at, at multiples in a sense. Is there 4 times something equals 56? And we know that the answer is correct. 4 times 10 will equal 40, which leaves us with 16. 4 times 4 will equal 16. So we know that 4 times 14 equals 56. So the last two digits are actually divisible by 4. Now let's look at 8. Are the last two digits, so 56 again, are they divisible by 8? Is 56 a multiple of 8? Well, we know that 8 times 7 equals 56, so we know that those last two digits are also divisible by 8. So this number, which we can tell from what we've drawn, it's got a yellow box and a green circle around it, so we know that it is divisible by 4 and divisible by 8. But here's another way of looking at why. We can look at the last two digits. If the last two digits are divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. If the last two digits are divisible by 8, then the whole number is divisible by 8. And we can test this out by actually doing the division. So if we divide by 4, that is 2. 2 times 4 equals 8, which leaves us with 2. 4 goes into 25 6 times, which leaves us with uh, 24. So we've got 1 left over. Bring it down, and we have 16. 4 goes into 16 4 times. So yes, it is divisible by 4. We can check if it's divisible by 8 the same way. 8 goes into 10 once subtract 8, we end up with 2, we bring down 25, 8 goes into 25 3 times, 3 times 8 is 24, which leaves us with 1, we bring down the 6, 8 goes into 16 twice. So um, by doing the division, we can prove to ourselves that yes, this actually works. Um, 1056 is divisible by 4 and divisible by 8. Take a moment and record in your notebook the divisibility rules for 4 and for 8. Looking at the divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9, I want you to pause the video and highlight in yellow the numbers that are divisible by 3, circle uh, the numbers that are divisible by 9, and put an X through each number that is divisible by 6. The yellow numbers are divisible by 3. I want you to calculate the sum of the digits of a few of these numbers. So let's take, for example, 72. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Uh, if you look at 105, 1 plus 0 plus 5 equals 6. Uh, 93, 9 plus 3 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. What do you notice about these sums once you get it down to a one-digit thing? Pause the video and figure that out. What you should notice is that each of these one-digit um, answers are all divisible by 3. They're all multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, all multiples of 3. Try doing the same thing for uh, the ones that are divisible by 9. So, again, well, 72, we've done that one. 
72 is divisible by 9. Um, if we're looking at the ones that are divisible by 9, we've got 108. So that's 1 plus 8, because 0 doesn't make a difference. That equals 9. Uh, 99, 9 plus 9 equals 18, which is the same as 1 plus 8 equals 9. Um, if we look at uh, 81, 8 plus 1 equals 9. All of these answers are coming up to 9. Now I want you to put a vertical blue line through the numbers that are divisible by 2. Do that now. Now for the numbers that are divisible by 6, um, those are our ones with the uh, green X's through them. Let's take a look at those numbers. We know 72 is divisible by 3 because we just figured that out. It's also got a yellow box around it. Uh, 78, which has a green X in it, also divisible by, t by 3. 84, also divisible by 3. 90, also divisible by 3. 96, also divisible by 3. 102 and 108 are all divisible by 3. But what else do these numbers have in common? What other number are they divisible by? Take a moment, figure it out, and then come back to the video when you've done it. If you notice, these are all even numbers. So all of the numbers that are divisible by 6, we know that they're divisible by 3, but they're also divisible by 2. Are there any numbers that are divisible only by 3 or only by 2 that are also divisible by 6? No, if you look at all of these numbers, they're divisible by both 3 and 2. So I want you to take a moment and write your divisibility rules in your journal for 3, 6, and 9. Finally, let's look at the divisibility rules for zero. There are 12 dots on your screen. I would like you to pause the video and put them into groups of four and groups of three and groups of two and groups of one and then groups of zero. If I split 12 into four groups, there's three in each group. If I split it into three groups, there's four in each group. If I split it into two groups, there's six in each group. And if I put it into one group, there's 12 in that group. But I can't put it into zero groups. By virtue of the fact that there are actually numbers, I can't take 12 and put it into no groups. There has to be at least one group. So the basic rule of divisibility by zero is that you cannot divide by zero. So the key ideas for this lesson, you can see if a number can be divided by certain numbers by following the divisibility rules. A number is divisible by 2 if it's even, by 3 and 9 if when you add the digits of the number, the sum is a multiple of 3 or 9, depending on which number you're looking at. It's divisible by 4 and 8 if the last two digits are a multiple of either 4 or 8. It's divisible by 5 if it ends in 5 or 0, and divisible by 10 only if it ends in 0. A number is divisible by 6 if it can be divided evenly by both 2 and 3, and numbers cannot be divided by 0. As a quick note, remember that a factor times a factor equals a multiple.